all right now for the next step so in this reaction we're just going to get rid of all of this code and now what we're going to do is we're going to have the computer output the following right let's say cost of a burger is let's say two dollars cost of a pizza let's say is five dollars right so i want you to print this out in two different lines the cost of a burger is two dollars and the cost of a pizza is five dollars go ahead and pause the video try this this might take you a while um you might have to find out how you go to the next line but and go ahead and research just feel free and if it's kind of like a challenge for you and um if you're uh, just try it for 10 minutes max 10 minutes if you don't get it if you don't quite get it then uh, come back to this video and play it again all right, so we want this output to be like this. So let's go ahead and type hash include IO stream. This is like the basic stuff, right? This is the print namespace std int main void void. All right, so now what do we have to do? Well, I'm actually going to create a comment. And what a comment is, is basically for a, um, it's basically to help other when other programmers look at your uh, look at your program, they they really need some guidance. So comments help the pro programmers to have some essential guidance. So output is gonna be um, cost of a uh, burger is two dollars and cost of a pizza is five dollars. This should be our output, right? Cost for burgers, $2. Next line, cost for burgers, $5. So, how do we do that? Well, first, is, all we have to do is we have to just print this out, right? Output is basically printed. So, how do we print? Well, we use the print function, C out. So, C out, uh, the angular brackets, and then it, since it's a text, it has to be in between these two quotation marks. Cost of a burger is $2. Semicolon. Next line. C out. Whoops. <laughs> Not two O's. Cost. Same thing, but instead of burger, we put pizza. Instead of two, we put five. Cost of a pizza is five dollars. Semicolon. Right? But this seems right, right? So the computer goes, he says, all right, so in line seven, I have to print something. And I have to print. What do I have to print? Cost of a burger is two dollars. He sees the semicolon, goes to the next line, and then prints out cost of a pizza is five dollars. But this is is this is this all this gonna really uh, is is all this gonna be like the same as this output? Is that is this output from lines one to nine gonna be the same output as line fourteen to fifteen? And take note that these comments, the, the computer never reads these comments. It just bypasses them. It's just for us, and it, it's only gonna read lines one to nine. It's not gonna care about from ten onwards. It, it just doesn't care. It just reads everything which is which is outside these comments. So is this really going to print in two lines? Uh, I know the answer and I don't think so. But let's find out why and how we can go around fixing this problem. I'm going to go to file, save file, build, run. All right. So what do we have in our output? Cost of a burger is $2, cost of a pizza is $5, but they're not in two separate lines. So how do we get them in two separate lines? Well, there's this amazing function, not, not, not really great, but it's, it's pretty cool, is we put these angular brackets and we say end L, right? This end L means end line, so this line is ended, go to the next line, right? So how, so how does the computer see this? Well, C out, so oh wait, I have to print something. Cost of a burger is two dollars. And wait, I see an end L over here. What does an end L tell me? Go to the next line. So go to the next line. Cost of a pizza is five dollars, right? So now, hopefully, it should print what we want. So run, build and run, and voila. Cost of a burger is two dollars. Cost of a burger is five dollars in two different lines. And this is really good stuff. So in the next video, we're going to be going over how to uh, how to have um, how to use variables. Variables are an essential thing in programming. We're going to be using that quite a lot.